Once this is over, there's an old Alluvian here that could be our escape. Yeah, it, uh, kind of fell out of the building. Oh? Well, if I can borrow some of your people, we'll get it right again. Light first. Strike down Gillenay? That's why we came here. How will he reach her in the sky? One impossible thing at a time. They're Griffin statue. I'll get Gillenay's attention. We'll help you push past the dark spawn. Behold, in Arch Demon's rock. Yeah. 
of the Grey Wolves. Give Asan a hug for me. Stay your blade, Warden. Sir. <laughs> Let an old man spill the blood today and make amends for his mistakes. Just don't miss. <laughs> and don't you miss killing that bloody god. have a saying. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death, sacrifice.
it's over. You have to move. You must get clear.
Give me another shot. Too late! Back to the Alluvian! Is it working? I hope so. Best odds all day! Evka sent word. Last of the civilians made it to Lavendel. Janos and his people held the line long enough for them to escape Weishaupt. And the Wardens are in Lavendel too. What's left of them, you mean? Over a thousand. That's how many fellow Wardens I had. And now? One god, one archdemon. That's all it took to nearly wipe out our entire order. Weishaupt is just the start. The worst, whatever that looks like, is still coming, unless we stop them. That begins with finding and killing Gillenane. How? We all saw what she did. That's beyond our... We killed her archdemon, though. That's something, isn't it? That's an incredibly rare accomplishment. Yeah. After it turned into a snake monster with too many heads. Are all blighted dragons gonna do that? I don't know how to fight that. Well, at least we've made Gillenane mortal. Mortal or immortal, doesn't matter if we can't get close enough. We had our shot at her, and we missed. Say what you mean, Davrin. I missed. Nobody blames you for that, Lucanus. Yeah? Maybe I do. This crow has a demon inside him, right? Now, that's not... How do we know we can trust him? Maybe the demon pulled his punches. Okay, hold on. Now we're getting... And you, Warden? What about the blight that runs through your veins? The same blight that Gillenane commands so effortlessly. Just a moment, please. Enough. Stop arguing. We've got no chance if we turn on each other. Chaos helps the gods and hurts this team. It will get us killed one by one. So get it together. We need to figure out how to defeat them. We're all in agreement on that point, Rook. But the question remains, how? We barely survived against one of the gods. I nearly got her. Nearly. But you and Spite are not of one mind, Lucanus. Fighting for control, it's no wonder you missed such a rare opportunity. I think we've all been distracted. I've been preoccupied myself after discovering that Hand of Glory. And I can't stop worrying about my new magic and what it means. The Nautis are fallen? What it means for my people? Until those problems are resolved, we will not be prepared to face the gods. A moment of inattention, a single lapse, could prove fatal. And the gods will allow no second chances. He's right, Rook. We can't afford to stumble. The gods will jump on that in a heartbeat. We must be ready for them. That said, we need to find them first. Harding, can you send word to Evka, see if she has any rested scouts? Scouts? Why? The Darkspawn that attacked Weishaupt had to come from somewhere. I bet they'll be headed back there. Following them should at least put us on the God's Trail. Got it. As for the rest of- Look, nothing against Emric. He's right about needing focus. But what happened at Weishaupt? That was more than a distraction. So is what happened to Minrathus. What the Venatori have done. What they're still doing. These are more than distractions, Rook. Either way, we all need to step back, clear our heads. So, how do you think that went? Davron was still upset there, at the end. That's his right, after the horrors at Weishaupt. But I hoped I'd gotten through to him. They stopped fighting when you told them to. 
That's something. Emmerich's right, though. Everyone on this team has some kind of unfinished business hanging over their heads. That's the danger in recruiting competent people. They bring more interesting and complicated problems along with them. So go help, Rook. Support them. Solve those problems. And maybe start with Davrin and Lucanus. Or even Nev. She's taking Minrath as hard. And the gods? Well, you've asked the Wardens to track them through the Darkspawn. That'll take time. I should use that time to check in with the team. And then... I should go talk with Solus. Better you than me. He'll want to know all about Gilanane, the Archdemon, and why you only stopped one of them. You know... All this talking wears me out. I'm going to take a nap. See you later, kid. Good luck. Why do you run around in fancy mage clothes? Because I like them. You're barely even wearing a shirt. You fight Anton with a bare midriff. Everything all right? We're fine. Just trading fashion tips. So what I wear is a problem for you. It's not. It's just... Why dress like that? Are you trying to make your mother happy? Tosh, what's going on? Something is clearly bothering you. My bets on mothers and dresses. It's just something my mother said the other day. And I act more like a man than a woman. And you feel like you should wear dresses to make her happy? <laughs> no. Can you imagine me in a dress? I'd look stupider than I... I'd look stupid. This isn't about the dress, is it? No, it's... I don't know. She always says stuff like that. About how I dress. How I act. And? It feels... Right. When she says I act more like a man. It feels... Right. Why does it feel right? Tosh, do you like being a woman? Huh. <laughs> Nobody likes being a woman. Ah. This is stupid. Forget I said anything. Forget it, or dig into it, whatever you have to do. But if our Dragon Hunter isn't at her best, people will die. <sighs> yeah. I'll figure out my crap. Whatever it is. Some of my friends in Minrathas talk about not feeling comfortable in their own skin. As a man, as a woman. I could see if they'd like to talk. Maybe what they say fits how you're feeling. Yeah. Okay. And thanks. You do look really pretty. Oh? To look at, I'd smudge your makeup. Thanks for letting me down gently. Nev, that coffee in the kitchen, you made it? Keen eye. Did you boil it? If so, why? I'm not picky. I got a cup and it does the job. That's all I ask. I don't know where to go with this. Maybe that's how it's done him in Rathus. Oh no. Give Lucanus credit. It's terrible. You need a stronger word for terrible. So what's the coffee for? What isn't it for? The Venator used the dragon attack for a power grab. Now they treat Darktown like their personal playground. I've heard more cries for help than I can count. And now the threats have reached out. I mean Rathus Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, extortion, protection rackets. The threats do it all. They stay out of slavery and they hate Venatori. Enough to keep picking fights. My contact in the threads, Alec, wants to talk. He doesn't reach out for nothing. So we share a common enemy with a crime syndicate. Could be useful. Well, I'm glad Doctown's interesting when it's useful. It needs our help either way. True enough. If you need more coffee, I'll make it. Well now... 
Is that sweet or trying to save me from myself? Let's call it both. Lacanis? Are you in here brooding? I'm fine. That's not a no. I had her. She should have never gotten away from me. This was our contract, Rook. I don't fail my contracts. Let's call it what it was. Weishaupt was a disaster. I thought I still had this. Whatever else I am, I'm a professional. After the ossuary, I thought at least I could still take out a target. I need to work. Gelenane was a giant face in the clouds, Lucanis. I asked you to stab a cloud. And I missed the damn cloud. My point is, that was impossible and you still almost did it. That's not small. I was distracted. That cannot happen again. I need to get my head on straight. Whatever you need to do. Have you been to talk to the others? Davrin, especially. I think everyone might have things to deal with now. I should check in with the crows. Whatever the word is, I'll let you know. There's nothing like work to focus the mind. Davrin? Davrin, about Weishaupt. Davrin, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I can't believe Weishaupt is gone. It's always been there protecting the world. Wasn't supposed to be like this. That's Renald. Malmond. Anya. We used to argue. Who'd be the one to take an archdemon down? Who'd die so that others could live? Not sure any of us believed it'd actually happen. When the moment came, you did the Wardens proud. Did I? Because I'm still here. They're not. There's no getting them back. But at least they died heroes. And I should have joined them. A Grey Warden kills an Archdemon, they're supposed to die. Who knows what happened? Maybe the gods change things and the old rules don't apply. Why is being alive a problem? Because I didn't expect to be here. Grey Wardens have an expiration. It pushed me. There's more fight to go. And if we manage to pull that off? You'll do what you do best. Hunt monsters. Plenty of people can do that. I'm talking purpose. I feel like a blade sharpened all these years to confront the worst darkness in the world. And my blade struck true at Weishaupt. What now? Well... You'll raise a song to create a world where the light outshines the darkness. Yeah? Well, let me tell you. That... will require a lot more ginger ward truffles. <laughs> huh. Hey. There are worse jobs than being a professional truffle hunter. Don't start. He seems to like the idea. Guess we're stuck with each other, boy. No getting rid of me now. Someday I might actually know what that means. While you sort that out, maybe you and Lacanis can try to bury the hatchet. Yeah. He had a rough time of it, too. I know. That was an incredible shot he took at Gillenane. Then tell him that. Because fighting each other won't help us defeat the gods. But we've got help. The Wardens, Shadow Dragons, Crows, Veil Jumpers, we're all in this together. We are. 
But they've all got their own problems. If we want their help, we have to help them first. Is that a plan I hear Foreman? I think it could be. Thanks, Daverin. Any luck tracking down your mystery friend? The Shaper didn't like me asking about Shaper Valta. Or harassing people with talk of dwarven magic. Wish we had time to head down there and show them what you can do. <laughs> I don't think that would have helped. Think how satisfying it would be. Yeah. What's satisfying about being thrown in a Deep Roads prison? <laughs> Orzammar takes its heritage very seriously. So, what now? I was thinking. The voice said, look to those closest to the stone. What if she never meant Orzammar? Huh? There is another great taig, the original capital of the dwarves, Cal Chirac. It was lost during the first blight, and its people survived in isolation for hundreds of years. They re-emerged, oh, some 20 years ago? And you think they're closer to the stone? Orzammar can't help. What have I got to lose? Are you sure Orzammar isn't hiding something? Pressing them for information would be tricky. I could anger someone important. If Cal Chirac doesn't turn out, I can go back to poking at Orzammar. But not before then. I'm curious about Cal Chirac's isolation. The dwarves took heavy losses during the First Blight. To stop the Darkspawn from overrunning them, they closed off passages in the Deep Roads. Those that could retreated to Orzammar. Cal Chirac was lost. They abandoned the city and its people. Sealed them away, with the Darkspawn. They had to. Lose a Taig or lose everyone. Children, families, it's unforgivable. Sometimes people have to do unforgivable things. You've heard, haven't you? That the Cal Chirac dwarves were forced to change in order to survive. No one's really sure what that means exactly. When we find them, you can ask. How do we get in touch with these Cal Chirac dwarves? Already working on it. You don't spend ten years in the Inquisition without making contacts. I should have a meeting set up by the time we're ready to leave. Ah, Rook. Care to join me on a visit home? Time for the old grave rituals? Yes, the memorial gardens need tending. I could use a fellow watcher's company. The fall of Weishaupt reverberated across the Fade as did the fall of an archdemon. But unless I am mistaken, both Elganan and Gilanane yet stand. We took down Gilanane's archdemon, but we weren't able to kill her. And how are you doing? I came to you to figure out our next steps. I don't need a shoulder to cry on. Of course. As a leader, you are wise to put away concerns and show only confidence to your team. <laughs> and your adversaries. At least you still have Varric to talk to. What of your companions? How have they handled the events at Weishaupt? They've spent a lot of time yelling at each other. Or me. Not the worst outcome. All things considered. Properly focused. That anger can forge your team into a weapon keen enough to cut through any obstacle. You cannot stand against Elganan and Gilanane with logic. Those motivated by greed or self-interest will change alliances. But those who serve you with passion and loyalty will follow wherever you lead. Even to their deaths, if necessary.
I knew I might have to make a call like that when Varric put me in charge. A good leader never makes such a decision lightly. But when the time comes, it is better to be prepared. And perhaps it will not come to that. The stronger your team, the more chances you will have to avoid such a decision. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any suggestions on our next move against the gods? If you oppose Elganan and Gilanane's minions, you will get your opportunity. You think one of the Antarm or Venatori commanders will help us find the gods? Possibly. But more importantly, you will aggravate them. You rendered Gilanane mortal at Weishaupt. It is an embarrassment. An insult. Neither she nor Elganan can ignore. If you continue to disrupt their plans, you will not need to track them down. They will come to you. You think I can goad the gods into making a mistake? I have absolute faith in your ability to aggravate enemies who should know better than to underestimate you. One final warning. You have survived a confrontation with Gilanane, which few still live to claim. But her power pales in comparison to Elganan's. If he takes the field himself, remember, in a fight such as ours, escaping to fight another day is a victory.